All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that, uh, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, so <clears throat> what we've got today is a 2021 Dodge Charger 392 wide body. Um, if you want to see the car, go check out Cap America 21 on Instagram. Uh, he's got all kinds of photos on his, on his car. Uh, but what we're doing today is, or I should say we, he is, I'm uh, giving some helping fingers if he needs it, but he is putting in a 12 inch sub uh, in his car. Now this is a little, a little different because this is the 19 speaker Harman Kardon system uh, in the Dodges. Uh, there are no videos uh, that show somebody tapping in an aftermarket sub into this system. So we're gonna try a little R&D today and see if we can get it to work. Um, but let me, uh, let me show you guys what the car looks like. All right, so this is the car itself. Again, the car is phenomenal. It's a 392 uh, Dodge Charger 2021. <clears throat> Everything on it, he's done himself. Uh, or I've lent a hand. Uh, lots of blood, sweat, and tears. Again, there's there's Hulk. Um, so we are we are always trying to improve these two cars. Um, we actually go back and forth at shows on who's who's got the better car. But this is uh, this is kind of what we're doing right now. As you can see, he is step one is trying to hook up the amp. Um, so it's standard amp installation, so nothing nothing major crazy about that yet. And then going back to the trunk, so this is where it'll sit back here. Um, right now he's just running all the power wires, uh, negative wires, uh, and all that before he gets in and actually puts the uh, puts the sub, which is here. Don't mind the appearance of this. This thing has been through thick and thin. It's been through accidents. It's through an accident. That's what I was going to do. Uh, so quick story, quick backstory on that one. So the backstory on the accident. So November of 2020, Cap is cruising down a local street here. We're getting ready to go to a Paul Walker tribute event in, at a drag strip locally up in Pace, Florida or Holtville, Florida. So he's cruising to the pre-meet spot because there's a big group of us that are going to go up there. Well, on his way there, he got a car accident. There was a truck that crossed five lanes of traffic and hit his back end and pushed him into a telephone pole. <clears throat> um, basically destroying the car. Uh, it was a complete loss. I think, what was the final total? $37,000 in damage. $37,000 in damage. Uh, so I'll... I will insert a, a picture of what the car looked like uh, in just a second. So now that you've seen what that picture looks like, this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> Remove the power pole from the car. So that is uh, that's what we're doing uh, today. We're trying to install the stereo. Again, this is a first. We have scoured the internet looking for install videos on how to install an aftermarket sub in a stock 2021 Dodge Charger 392 19 speaker. What is it? Harman Kardon. Harman Kardon uh, stereo system. So once we get to the next step, I'll uh, point you guys in or I'll bring you guys back in. All right, so here is the amp. So all the wires, not all the wires, you still have to run the speaker wire and then the RCA cables, but here's the power in the ground and the turn on lead. Back there to the uh, the box. All back there. Um, it's tucked in nice and neatly, so it 
doesn't ruin anything else in the, in the, in the trunk. Alright guys, so we've got to put a RCA tap in. So, and line adapter. The line adapter. So as you can see, we're tapping into the rear speaker. Right now it's a guessing game on whether it's the green is the positive or the yellow is the positive. We're gonna do a little, little test in here. Red into red, white into white. Oh, so I've got lower level inputs or pre outputs? Lower level. No, just stay there. I got it. I just set the speaker right here. All right, so we're testing the wire connections right now on the install or the inside of the, the car. Make sure we get the polarity correct. Inline fuse. Why are you calling me out, man? Because you're human. Humans make mistakes. Well, I had it out for safety reasons. Alright guys, sorry for the abrupt end to the video, but after this we just uh, we cleaned up all the wires, tucked everything away so you can't see anything. Obviously I didn't get a picture for that, um, but it works amazingly, so if you got any questions, uh, put them down in the comments below. Again, thank you for all the support. If you guys like this video, let me know, uh, and we'll keep doing these, uh, these install videos as we go along and rebuild these two cars. Until next time, guys. Thanks.